saw the signs first. Um, she's always been the more receptive one. And she noticed that our son Forrest wasn't hitting his milestones. He, um, he wasn't pointing. Uh, he wasn't uh, mimicking us. Uh, he didn't respond to cues. He didn't. He didn't notice the. He didn't notice the um, things that other kids were, were noticing, but that I never saw. It, you know, not my son. Uh, at, uh, at 13 months, uh, she got a referral to the neurologist, where we got the first of many preliminary diagnoses. Suspect for autism spectrum disorder, but uh, well, I didn't go to the doctors. Not my son. She worked tirelessly to try to get him services, um, uh, insurance approvals for uh, ABA therapy, uh, regional center assessments, enrollment in a special school. But I wanted nothing to do with that. Not my son. But uh, fate has a sense of irony, and, and on his uh, first day at uh, PTN, uh, she had a work commitment, so I was the one who we got to drop him off. Now we had visited PTN and the Leaps and Bound campus for an orientation, but that did not prepare me for his first day. So we arrived early and kind of entered the classroom and played a little bit, and, and then they did the welcome song. And, and at the welcome song, at the end, they sing out the kiddo's schedule. Jacob goes to PT. Michael goes to speech. <laughs> Forrest goes to OT. Forrest goes to OT. Not my son. So I started crying, and, and uh, one of the uh, therapy assistants, Christian, who my son would grow to adore uh, over time, came over and, and gave me a Kleenex. I was crying because disappointment, sadness, fear, in shame. Now, what was to become of my son if this is how his life was to begin? What was to become of my dreams for, for Forrest? But mostly, mostly I cried for acceptance. Yes, this, this was my son. Over the course of the next uh, year, I got a number of opportunities to, to visit PTA. Uh, Forrest uh, quickly fell in love and, 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 and began to, to adore going to PTA. And, and as, a, as a proud papa, I must say, I think PTA fell in love with him too. I, I got to drop him off a bunch of times, and it was great to you know, he would do a walk around the building to kind of get himself settled, and then we would go into the classroom. And when he would get there, one of the, the wonderful people there would greet him. You know, hi, sweetie, Christian would say. Uh, Hello, Mr. Forrest, Piper would greet. He would smile, giggle, fall into their lap, and, and spend the, the rest of the day hugging and, and learning from them. And slowly, and slowly, Forrest began to progress. Uh, he started to point. He began to notice things. He started to talk. I, uh, I had a great opportunity to watch all this happen, and, and uh, I, used to, I used to love coming to pick him up uh, from, from PTN. At the, uh, at the end of each day, uh, if you come in early, you can sit down and, and do circle time with them. And uh, at circle time, each of the kids, usually in the lap of one of the, the loving therapists, will, will, will get to pick their favorite song to sing and then claim their toy from the share box. My toy. My toy. It's a, it's a kind of a magical, joyful time for the kids. And um, it sort of speaks to the happiness that, that PTN brings them. So Forrest uh, just turned three a couple of weeks ago, which means that uh, he graduated from, from PTN. And uh, on his last day, uh, he, during his last circle time, he sat on my wife's lap as uh, he uh, sang his favorite song for the last time and claimed his toy. 
And as I sat back and watched, I, I started crying again. But this time, it wasn't for shame, it wasn't disappointment, it wasn't sadness. It was honestly, it was for gratefulness, for, for the newfound hopes and, and dreams for my son. Because of the work at PTN, Forrest has successfully transitioned into his preschool, uh, his new preschool, and, and he's progressing every day. In a, in a few years, perhaps Forrest won't remember PTN, but what PTN did for Forrest and for our family is something that, that we'll never forget. The love that PTN and, and the supporters of PTN show to those kids is precious and it's priceless. I, uh, I firmly believe that the mark of, of our humanity is how we treat the most vulnerable and the, the weakest among us. And, and truly, what PTN does is a mark and is a tribute to that humanity. So I just I wanted to say thank you for letting me speak and express on behalf of my wife and our family how grateful we are for what PTN does every day and certainly what they did for Forrest. Because of the work of PTN, I can proudly stand up and say, yes, that's my son.